was obvious from the moment you walked in that Assembly Hall tonight was going to be different. Cardboard cutouts outnumbered warm bodies by about 8 to 1. But once IU and Purdue tip it off, much like the 215 times before this one, the game becomes a night unto its own. A nearly frantic pace early, the Hoosiers went with a strong dose of Trace Jackson Davis. He scored eight of their first ten points, had to sit midway through the first half with foul trouble, though, did not play the final nine minutes. Purdue was building a lead with some great outside shooting. They hit six of their first seven shots from three-point range. Jaden Ivey's triple gave them a 29-17 advantage and forced an Indiana timeout. All of our players, all of our guards, uh, were just able to get in the rhythm. Um, it started, you know, in the first half, we were able to, you know, get, get to the basket and, you know, get those easy threes. Um, and, we, you know, we just got into a rhythm. You know, we, we had assessed that we knew we were going to run against them. And then, you know, Coach Schroeder threw some, some, some other sets in there that we just executed. And um, we knew we had to do that to win today. Armand Franklin back in the lineup for IU hit a runner at the halftime buzzer. He fouled out but finished the game with 14 points, but a boost for the Hoosiers, who trailed by four at the break. It's not a fun thing, you know, losing to a team that many times in a row gets gets kind of old, you know. And we wanted to be the team to, you know, change the culture about it and rewrite the story. We wanted to do that tonight, but unfortunately, we didn't make enough plays. They hit enough shots. Jackson Davis got back in action and kept the offense churning for IU. Another basket with a foul kept Indiana within one possession. Trace finished with a game-high 25 points. The second half saw Trevion Williams show why he's one of the Big Ten's premier players. Time and time again, the Boilers got it to their big man. The lead went from 3 to 8 to 10. Williams ended up with a 22.10 rebound game. We just kept it simple. Um, you know, I got in the post, you know, if they don't double, uh, I score. You know, that's this coach's rule. You, when you're one on one, you score. Um, you know, the more I keep it simple and get to my move, um, or, you know, it opens the pass for other players. Once again, it felt like Purdue outplayed IU, 81-69 when it was all done, as they continued their now five-year dominance in this rivalry. You know, you face good defensive teams, which Michigan State is, and obviously Indiana is, but you're not going to get a lot of cracks out of it. But when you do, you got to be ready to shoot the ball. And I thought tonight, you know, our guys stepped up and got some openings and had some execution on our sets and, um, and, and made shots. We had no answer. We couldn't really get it, other than maybe one stretch with about the last eight minutes of the first half where I thought our ball pressure got up. We created some deflections, started to get back in the game that way. But uh, for a good portion of this game, our offense scored. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we just could not get stops. The win is Purdue's eighth straight in this series. In the long history between these two teams, they've only done that twice previously. It's their fifth straight win here in Bloomington. The last time they did that was 1923. The teams will have the return meeting on March 6th in West Lafayette. At Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.